Yo, what's up trainers? Welcome back to a new video and in today's video we're gonna be diving once again into the Retro Cup. The Retro Cup is such a nice meta in my opinion where, um, well for example, Alabama Snow really shines. I showcased it earlier this week so be sure to check that video out as well with Double Ghost Backline. And in today's video we're changing that up a bit where we get a uh, Lantern in as well because Lantern is just so strong right now in the current meta. Uh, Drift Loon as I, or Drift Blim as I say swap is really strong as well. It's basically there to lure out those uh, Lanterns turns and then we'll over farm with your abama snow and then take it out and then afterwards you just have to as well basically uh a sweep with your lantern also if you're new to the channel make sure to boring haven't already would help me out a lot and uh, we are getting close to that thousand subs so that would be really nice if we could uh, well maybe reach it before the end of the year i'm not expecting anything like that but it would be nice to uh, well grow a lot in this last month of the year also a little bit of christmas vibes let me know down in the comments below if you like what you see uh, as well and uh, without further ado let's just focus on these games now where they say swap into the skeletons and i'm i'm feeling like they have a talent flame on the lead or in the back i should say as they had that lantern on the lead abama snow i said it in the previous video as well is such a strong core breaker for this meta where if you just get it aligned against a lantern lantern or any mud boy in general you just well just there and they probably have something else in the in the uh, in the back as well that's going to be weak against that uh, ice type moves so it's just there to basically well core break a lot of teams i even faced one opponent where they had a lantern lead a say swap of uh, altaria or Venusaur. anyways that was their whole team and they just stopped attacking as soon as they saw my uh abama snow on the lead so I, I was i was really laughing at the end when i saw their whole, whole team but honestly that's just what abama snow does so uh, the video today is not really about abama snow it's just about this team where drift Lu uh, drift blim is also a really solid say swap in this meta with, with the icy wind coverage with the shadow ball to nuke it's just there and then as a sweeper in general i use lantern due to the fact that it's so bulky and if you've done enough energy or damage to any of those uh, opponents pokemon uh, lantern is just there to outbulk and spam out these serves either or these thunderbolts so that's basically a, ba a little bit of thought behind this team besides that there's not a real straight strategy behind this team as well so well without further ado let's just commentate now on these games where in this first game as you can see they got the clot sire in the back and we can just easily spam out these icy winds they go for the uh, acid sprays but honestly as soon as i saw that as a spray i'm feeling like they're just hard walled by my drift drift blim as they're probably not running stone edge i'm expecting them to run either sludge bomb or earth earthquake and as you can see they go for yet another icy or uh, acid spray and now we can swap in with our own uh Abama snow go for the icy wind i should have went for the uh, grass knot but honestly i like to meme around at, the, at those lower ranks and also a new move so we take them out with the new move of ice wind which is really nice also um i said it in my previous video as well so make sure to check that out as well um do you like this christmas team stuff that i'm putting around this videos for this uh, next month or for this month december make sure to leave some uh, nice comments uh, down below if you feel so and if you don't like it well you can say it as well i don't really care it's uh, always fun to uh, see your opinions down below so uh, once again we pick up a very favorable lead i thought in that um, lantern not too sure because i was uh, looking into the camera uh, but i'm gonna go for an icy wind here now they come in with that um uh what's it called the uh licky tongue and now we can eat Easily just let this move go through and farm them all the way down leave with a nice amount of energy and uh, still will we can threaten whatever is gonna come back in as just this ice wind from a Alabama snow is going to do a nice amount of damage as you can see once that licky thing is gone I'm feeling confident enough to just swap into that drift loon uh, anyways even though they, I don't know what they have in the back uh, as you can see I'm gonna go for the ice wind because we reach at the same time as they reach their thunder punch uh, so they know uh, they have to shield because it could have been a shadow ball now uh, this Point, I can easily tank this uh, next Thunder Punch and we can also go for well at the uh, CEP tie once again for the Shadow Ball as we reach it at, at the same time at the exact same time which is huge for us because I'm not expecting my opponent to double shield at this point and if they decide to do which I don't we don't have to talk about it uh, we're gonna go for yet another icy wind i could have went for the shadow ball but at this point this game is over as they cannot longer clear their debuff and i'm just going to icy wind them all as much as i can they uh, go for the move on cmp tire which is well favorable for us as well as they now well don't have any extra energy in this into this next matchup but it's not going to matter anyways a psycho cut basically does no fast move pressure damage and we can just go for these icy wind and take them out or slowly take them out uh, before 
before uh, we take this W. They even allow us to get to another move here, which is a bit of a mistake, but it's not going to matter for them anyways, as this game is over now. GG's! Alrighty, next game! In the next game, we face a Bomber Snow against, once again, Lantern. Said it before, I'm gonna say it again, a Bomber Snow lead is such a strong lead for this meta. Grass, Ice, it's just very, it's just there to, well, basically hit a lot of Pokemon for either neutral, super effective damage. So yeah, use a Bomber Snow if you got one. And with the backline, you can either use this team, but anything that's basically good against fi fighting type or rock or something like that is something you can use. Um, here they save swap into a Pelipper. Uh, and Pelipper honestly is not going to be the Pokemon you want to safe swap in into a meta where Lantern is so dominant. Yeah. Either use it as a uh, lead or as a closer, but don't use it as a safe swap because, as you can see right now, my opponent is just gonna get hard punished by this uh, by this safe swap, and we will leave with so much energy that this game is basically over. Right? We can just easily farm them all the way down, go for double Thunderbolt at this time. Uh, we can bait if we want to, but honestly, we got so much energy we don't need to bait in this in this case. We just we can just out. Uh, output these thunderbolts and uh, well take our opponent out or at least do a lot of damage against them because I think this is going to be well, almost enough to take them out and at this point I'm gonna just uh, well I think I kind of shield here I'm gonna shield here just to make sure that we uh, well preserve three Pokemon they got a Hariyama in the back and if this game wasn't over already this game is over now but still I'm gonna meme around a bit because that's funny to do right and uh, uh, you like what you see click on that like or click on that subscribe button that's most important because well 90 percent of you trainers aren't subscribed and well would help me out a lot as you can see we go for the icy wind we uh, debuff them once again i'm gonna give them a little bit of extra hope here by uh, coming in with my lantern and now this game is over as they can see my final pokemon and that's going to be a gg very well played and uh, i will see you i will see you in the next uh, battle trainer ciao Alrighty, next game. We face against a Medicham. So Medicham, honestly, is not going to be the Pokemon that I like to see on the lead. I'm gonna say swap into that Lantern this time, and they actually have a Fixie Bell here. So this feels a bit like an RPS team. Uh, there's not a lot I can do. I could have went maybe for double serve, looking back at this, hoping to uh, well switch, uh, well make sure that we get that switch timer a bit. Um, uh, well longer up so that I can uh, well swap into my drift blim afterwards faster But as you can see switch timer is far from up They're gonna go or they reach a move anyway, so which is a bit unfortunate they go for an acid spray uh, I don't I'm not in a move just yet So I need to just spam out uh, well try to get to, to that move as quick as possible And I'm gonna go for the icy wind and then after this I try to swap out But as you can see I cannot I get taken out and this is just well very unfortunate as they even have a lantern in the back so yeah big of an rps game there but uh, nothing to do uh, you can do about it so uh buckle up for this next game a little bit of a spoiler alert uh as i'm gonna on uh, not this game i'm not too sure if it's gonna be this game i'm gonna go for the energy ball i think it is this game because i'm gonna get absolutely shit on by my opponent i'm gonna go for the energy ball here as you can see and uh, they're gonna shield up that move which is fine i'm gonna shield up their move as well which is probably gonna be that icy wind right it is uh, and i'm gonna go for yet another energy ball as soon as i get there uh, or no i'm over farming slightly uh, and now i will go for the energy ball once again because i know i will outpace them before they reach their next uh, or their third icy wind and take me out um, so here i'm gonna over farm slightly but look at this play my opponent absolutely takes a big big shit on me and i'm gonna go over farming by a lot and they actually catch they catch so this this catch basically won them the game looking at their back line it is just insane that they beat me in this game to be honest uh, as i am gonna swap in I, at this point i was expecting them to probably have a lander or a um, dragonite in the back which is a bit unfortunate as they say swap into uh well their dragonair uh, i got an ice type on the lead but that ice type is basically gone they made a beautiful catch by just wasting all of my energy uh, basically and now at this point there's not a lot i can do i'm gonna go and uh, go for the icy wind if i can reach and i can reach one just before i get taken out by the jugong um I'm gonna come in with my own uh, uh, lantern at this point, making sure that we get a lot of uh, well, get a lot of energy. And here's where I'm gonna make yet another mistake, in my opinion, where that first one wasn't really a mistake that was just classed by my opponent. But here I swap into my uh, I swap I, I, I answer with my own um, Abemisno once they've swapped. 
and now I don't make it to the uh, to the uh, Thunderbolt before they do. If I would have just stayed in, I would have probably won this game, uh, or even even well, I probably had more chances to win that game. But afterwards, uh, well, due to the fact that I swapped and reacted to their swap as well, I lost that game, which is a bit unfortunate. But yeah, that happens sometimes. But big uh, big um, compliment to my opponent by uh, winning that game because that catch was uh, just something else. That was a nice catch. So here I'm gonna go for the ice wind. Make sure that we debuff our opponent, and now we. We can easily tank two shadow balls we cannot tank three uh, but we can easily tank two and they have to throw a third now to uh, take us out as we uh, well cannot get farmed down by the powder snow they've used one shield so i'm just gonna go for the thunderbolt here and we take out their frostless they're gonna come in with their own obama snow and this feels a bit of like like of a tricky situation because we cannot really hit them for any significant damage and they can out uh, they can over farm by so much that it's going to be very hard for us to come back from but still we have an we have a shield advantage so that's something we can obviously use to get that energy level a bit paired up a bit more paired up right so uh, as you can see they're gonna go for the uh, weather ball they're running weather ball i'm running icy wind so they're gonna go uh, what well, they're gonna get quicker to the moves than uh, i'm gonna get there and they have a uh, uh, jelly scent in the back i'm not gonna throw there on a bad timing this time as i was expecting them to maybe swap out and catch the move uh, they uh, go we go for the drift uh, or for the energy ball and now they uh, well they uh, have no shields anymore as they decided to shield that energy ball and we can just easily go for the this shadow ball we're gonna over farm slightly and then we're just gonna go for the move because i don't want to use another shield i think this even was cmp tie on the surf uh, looking at the animation but we take them out we win the cmp tie and at this point we can easily go for an icy wind and this game is going to be over because we still have so much uh, hp on our own um uh on our own uh, abama snow in the back that well there was not a lot of uh, things they could have done there so next game we face a uh, horrible lead we're gonna safe swap into that talent flames as soon as we can get there and we lure out that lantern so this is well kind of going as uh this get this team is intended to to uh, lure out the lantern it's even a water gun lantern as well which is a bit better for my abama snow as they don't get to the moves as quick and we resist that water gun even though we resist that spark as well uh this just makes it uh, well less spammy i'm gonna shoot up once here uh, making sure to uh, reach yet another uh, icy wind or shadow ball potentially but i'm gonna go for the icy wind and my opponent actually decides to shield and at this point i'm gonna go for yet another icy wind and this is actually going to be enough i think to take them out and if so we just flip switch meaning that we align our lantern against our opponent's talent flame which we do and now do we reach another shadow ball we actually do that is gonna be huge as this is going to do a lot of damage to our opponent's talent flame but they decided to shield anyways which is fine and now we come in with its worst nightmare of lantern for the teleflame obviously and now we can easily tank all the moves they throw it's not going to matter too much they go for yet another flame charge or fly at this point or maybe brave bird as well but they are running fly the new move which is nice they got a leprous in the back and now they are absolutely core broken by my lantern in the back which is huge as this game is going to be over right now as we can just easily go for a thunderbolt here i'm going to swap into my um uh, Bama Snow, and I'm also gonna let them uh, well go for a move, hoping to. Uh, I'm expecting or hoping that they're gonna go for the Skull Bash here, which they actually do. We survive with one HP. I'm gonna undercharge it because I wanna well leave with a lot of energy on my Lantern, where we can then easily take out uh, their op or our opponents. Uh, talent flame and that's gonna be a gg very well played we can easily go for a serve now but i'm deciding to go for the thunderbolt just to flex just to get this uh, well nicer animation if you ask me uh, off on that uh, talent flame and that's going to be a gg very well played so next game in the next game we face a mirror match once again into that uh, opponent's abama snow we are shadow we are also running icy wind so those are probably going to be the differences i'm going to shield up this first move just to make sure that we are not going to get hit by a weather ball that does the maximum amount of damage right and they decide to swap out into i think it's going to be that cresselia i'm going to go for a uh, icy wind just to debuff my opponent and then afterwards i'm going to come in with my um drift loon here i'm trying to catch hoping to catch whatever doesn't really matter too much as they were probably going to go for either future sight or a moon blast anyways they are running future sight which does a lot of damage here i'm going to go for a shadow or icy wind i think or i'm going to go for the shadow ball which i think the better player as well just to get that switch um uh, just to make sure that you either get switched but my opponent is trying to make a play for switch here which is fine uh, i can't take another future sight as that's just going to do a lot of damage here 
Um, but still, once all shields are down and I can get a nice farm down on that Cresselia, that's going to be, well, fine as well. So I'm going to go for a Icy Wind here, uh, making sure that we uh, will get probably the final shield as they try to make a play for Switch, which they do. Uh, and now after this, I'm going to go for yet another, or I'm going to go for the full farm down, I should say, with Lantern. I can think uh, uh, easily, I can easily think a Grass Knot by now because there's two stages debuffed on their attack right. And as you can see, we actually uh, will take this fairly easy. It does like 30-40% of damage, which is fine. And now they're going to come in with their own Obama's now. And we, we stored some energy, right? Because things are not looking too good for us. But we stored some energy. So I'm trying to go for the uh, com uh, combination play and the nice snipe. Or our icy wind and now this of Bama snow is so low or one eight, one tap basically that that's actually gonna help us well so so much here they go for a move i'm hoping to reach the weather ball as soon as this night next powder snow is gonna go through they go for the move and it just takes us out barely which is absolutely which is a bit big disaster honestly still if we reach the thunderbolt i think one spark is going to be enough where we can easily go or farm the uh Abama snow down uh, and they go for a move we we under tap it just to make sure that, that the last counter is not going to register and we actually get it off and now these those powder snows are not going to cut it and we take that dub ggs that was a close game even though we lost the uh, switch there if i'm not mistaken we were still able to uh well with some nice energy management come back from it so another game where obama snow on the lead is just gonna core break my opponent's team as we face a lantern into a charge bug which is just absolutely huge for us we can easily go for a uh, icy wind there and then we're just gonna come in with our own lantern after this i do decide to just uh well i think i'm gonna decide to just straight away go for the um surf just to make sure that they don't get another move off and that we are still in a sort of one v oh that the alignment of the switch timer is still not up but they decide to come in with their next pokemon so this is a bit of a tricky thing where if you decide to play it like that your opponent can make uh well take some advantage of that by coming in with their final pokemon where they can get a nice energy uh advantage obviously but i decided to play it that way because i think i had the answers for it anyways but look at this their whole team was so so weak against my um uh, Abama Snow. Here I decide to come in with my uh, final Pokemon, which is going to be the Drift Blim. And my opponent, once they've thrown that Body Slam, is going to decide to forfeit as they just lost a lot of energy. And we had the answers for it, right? So, next game we face against a Double. So, Double is obviously going to be a Pokemon, which is a bit frustrating, a bit annoying. And my opponent is actually going to decide to stay in. I'm going to go for the Surf, a little bait here. Um, if they decide to shield, that's fine. If they decide to not shield, that's also fine. But we actually get a shield. So, that's a bit better than. Uh, well them not shielding there uh, as they can easily tank a surf but as a thunderbolt would do a lot of damage as you can see my opponent is running wild charge so i know i can tank the next one uh, the, a payback i would have been able to take as well but still this is fine we play into that cmp tie and now they either have to use their final shield here uh, or their double is gonna get taken out and they, my opponent decides to uh, well use their final shield and then come in with their uh, figure out so uh, previous season figure out had, had absolutely no play against my drift loon now it's running rock slide or Obviously, so it does have some nice play against my whole backline or my whole team right now. But still, we're gonna come in with that drift limb, drift limb and gonna spam out these icy winds just before they reach, just to also make sure that these uh, rock slides are gonna do less uh, and we can tank them a bit easier. So um, they reach it, and now we are just going to shield up this move and make sure that we, uh, or I'm not going to shield up this move actually, I'm gonna reach another one, I think, and then I'm gonna hope to sweep with my Bama Snow. So we reach another one, uh, which is nice, and now this next rock slide is going to do obviously less than the previous one, uh, and I'm actually gonna well let my uh, let this move go through i think as i won't be able to get a nice farm down no i'm actually deciding to shield here so i should have shielded that first move uh, to be honest but here as you can see they're running a triple normal team i think right now they go for the um uh, wild charge on the cmp tie which we do actually win which is nice uh, but they will take us out here but this actually puts up uh the or puts the double in a nice farm down range where i'm hoping to uh farm them down before they actually reach a, a body slam but as you can see that's not going to work they reach another body slam which is a bit unfortunate and now i'm gonna go for uh well this farm down hoping to uh well take them out now but they got they got a pigeon in the back i'm gonna go for the move i should have went for it straight away probably to survive this next uh, gust as they're running gust which is also a bit unfortunate we take them out but we don't leave with a move and that's going to be very heartbreaking for this last game which we do lose 
GG's, they had a triple normal team which was nice to play against. Uh, we lose that game. Honestly, this team felt really solid. I went all positive sets today, uh, where only one set, which I also showcased, was 3-2. All the others were 4-1 or 5-0s. So, just want to showcase you also some with the counters, uh, with some of the losses. So, you can uh, see those counters, see how those matches went, and maybe take your advantage of it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.